are you buying Robux or redeem a gift card soon? Well, use code MEGANPLAYS while doing so to help support the channel. Last time in the Evil Stepmom roleplay, my dad married a brand new evil stepmom. She was so mean. She appeared really nice, but we got in a big fight the day of the wedding. And of course, my dad chose her side. When she came in to talk to me at night, she showed a ton of interest in Honey the Unicorn. And the next thing I know, she's sneaking in my room to steal him. I mean, look at this. I wonder what she has up her sleeve. I have the pet. There you are, finally. I've been waiting here for like an hour. You were supposed to be here a while ago. Okay, who cares about that? I have the pet, okay? As long as you have the goods, then maybe we can do this deal still, but I still feel disrespected. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you feel disrespected and all, but what really matters is the pets, right? Yeah, I guess ultimately, but since you made me wait, if you want your 1 million Robux, then I'm gonna need a little bit more than that pet. What, are you serious? Very serious. <sighs> okay, but I'm gonna have to bring the other pets and other things to you later. You're just gonna have to take this one now. How much Robux can I get for this? No, you're gonna give me everything right now and I'll give you 1 million Robux. Okay. Perfect. The trade went through. Okay, well, I guess I'll be on my way then. Well, where are my Robux? Oh, yeah, that's right. Your one million Robux. I'll be in touch soon. You know, a transaction of that size is going to take time. Well, how do I know I can trust you? Oh, you can trust me. <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll be in touch soon and you'll be a millionaire. <laughs> All right, fine. <sighs> oh, my gosh. What time is it? 3 a.m.? Why am I awake at 3 a.m.? Um, honey? Where, where, where's honey? He he was sleeping in his bed. Do you think that he like went downstairs for a midnight snack? I mean, I don't, I don't see him under the bed. It's just, it's not too unlike him, but um, it's just, it's just really late. We had such a big day. I'm a little bit worried. Honey, are you in the bathroom? Honey? Hello? Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Okay, if he's not by the fridge, then something's wrong. So here's the donuts. Honey? Honey? Okay, this doesn't make any sense, and I'm sure it's fine. Let's just find my dad. Maybe he's seen him. Uh, dad? Dad? Uh, oh, yeah? there you are. Oh my gosh, I, I didn't even know you were sitting up this late. What are you doing? Oh, I was just watching some TV, you know, catching up on my favorite shows. <sighs> well, I have some really bad news. Honey's missing, and I haven't seen him anywhere. He wasn't eating donuts, he wasn't using the restroom, and it's so late. It's like 3 a.m. Missing? Uh, are you sure? It's not like honey to go up and missing. I know. Usually when this happens, it's because somebody stole him. It happens all the time. He just is too trusting with strangers. Okay, okay. Don't jump to conclusions just yet. I'm sure honey just went out for like a midnight snack or a midnight bathroom break. And maybe he was trying to be polite and not stink up the house. Dad, the sun is already up and I haven't seen him anywhere. I'm starting to get really, really worried. Whoa, the sun's up? I've been watching Roflix all night. Oh boy. Uh, well, I'm sure he'll show up, but I have to get ready for work. Uh, if he doesn't show up, we can uh, put out some flyers tonight. Okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go keep on looking. Oh my goodness! So my dad hasn't seen Honey, and he didn't come home last night. The sun's already up, but I think that I might have been leaving my security cameras running because that makes you know I, I just have cameras in my room just in case anything goes missing, like Honey. So let's just sit down at the computer here and see about at what time he went missing. <gasps> oh my gosh, is that Jasmine? Did she steal Honey? I cannot believe my eyes right now. No, this isn't right. She was acting really weird. She was like really admiring his shiny coat and not that, you know, it's totally unwarranted, but she was being so mean before. So to take huge interest in Honey, oh, I'm just really worried that something's happened. Okay, I have to tell my dad. I know he said it went to work, but maybe it's not too late. Dad! Dad, I have an emergency! I know where Honey went! Dad, hello? Where is he? Okay, he died. <gasps> Why are you screaming? Um, no reason besides the fact that I know that you stole Honey out of his crib last night and you took him somewhere. What? Where did you take him? What are you talking about? I don't have your pet. No, yes you do. Here, look at this footage. It's right here. I caught you on camera taking Honey. Why would you do that? 
Well, no one's gonna believe you anyway, so what does it matter? Um, well, it matters because he's my pet and my best friend. So what did you do with him? I sold him off. You sold him? You sold Honey the Unicorn, my very best friend? How could you do that to me? You are pure evil. Well, I'm gonna get a lot of Robux for it, so it's gonna be pretty worth it. Really? You would take Robux over, like, a, a, a pet's life? A human feelings? Something is seriously wrong with you. I'm gonna tell my dad, and then he's gonna divorce you. It's gonna be over. Oh, he's not gonna believe you, and you're not gonna get a chance to show him footage because I'm gonna send you off to boarding school. You can't send me off to boarding school? Like, my dad Yes, would... I can. No, my dad would never let you do that. Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure he loves me more than he loves you. Oh, I mean, not that I can specifically prove that wrong, but me and my dad, we've been together forever. Like, you know, he's been in my life, and you've only been in his life for a few months. I don't even know why you guys got married. You must have some weird ulterior motive, like stealing pets and selling them for Robux because you're selfish. You just sound like you're a little bit mad. Who's he gonna believe? A grown adult or a little girl? Ugh. Don't call me a little girl, and you can't send me to boarding school. This is so unfair. Now just tell me how I can get Honey back, so I'm gonna go get him. I don't want to hear anything else. You can't. He's long gone. Gone? You like just gonna... You know what, Jasmine? I'm telling my dad on you, and you can't send me to boarding school because, um, you can't send people to boarding school if you can't find them. I'm running away. Well, even better. No, no, no! I can't believe it. She sold Honey for Roba. <gasps> honey! Oh my gosh, that man has Honey! Honey! Can you hear me? Ah, uh, help me in this man's taking me away! No, don't worry, honey! Here, He'll never sir? catch me! Sorry, <laughs> just stop! Hey! Stop, stop, stop! Where is he going? Oh my gosh, no! He's going underneath the bridge! This guy was so creepy! Oh wait, he's ice skating? Sir! Sir, please! That's my only friend! He's all I have! Hello? Oh, this door is open! Okay, he must have been in this creepy, creepy cave! I swear I could have seen them come in here! Um, hello? So I go in here. <gasps> Honey! Hello, sir! How did you find my secret location? Um, your secret location? It's just underneath the bridge. I just followed you here, and that's my unicorn! You've exposed my top secret lair. Aw, oh, the boss is gonna be so mad about this. Yes, he will. And um, if you if you don't give me back my pet, I'm gonna tell him and I'll tell everybody about this cave. And I don't really know what goes on here and I don't think I wanna know, but I will expose you and all the awful things that you do for pets. Okay, okay, fine. Wait, 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 wait. Don't expose anything. You know, I wasn't gonna send the woman the Robux for this pet anyways. Oh my gosh, all of you people are such bad people. None of you ever keep your words or do what you're gonna say, and then you just don't care who you hurt in the process. Give me back my best friend. Okay, I will trade you back this thing if you promise not to expose my secret location. Well, maybe you need to give me a ride potion on top of my best friend. Mm. No. It's called a negotiation, sir. Okay, fine. And that's what I thought. Honey, are you okay? I was so worried about you. Oh, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. We have to get this guy. I know. Sir. Hey, I gave you your pet back, and you said you wouldn't disclose my secret location, sir? but I have one more surprise for you. No, I don't want any of your surprises. This place is creepy, and I'm so creeped out, and I'm going to turn you into the police for running some weird, weird scene. Dad? Is that you? That's right, it's me. Uh, I wasn't feeling right about your stepmom, Jasmine, after the wedding, especially with what was happening with you guys beforehand. So I decided to go undercover and expose her for the true evil she really is. That doesn't make any sense. You stole Honey? He could have gotten seriously hurt. What? No, Honey was in my care the whole time. I just had to expose your stepmom for wanting one million Robux and willing to sell your most prized pet. Yeah, she's evil. And I promise you, whenever we were arguing at the wedding, that was all her fault. She was telling me to stay out of her way and to not ruin her big day. And all I was doing was offering to help her. Yeah, I had a feeling something was up. That's why I went undercover and now she's exposed. The police are actually on their way to pick her up right now. Really? Oh, that'd be so great, Dad. You should have heard it. She threatened to send me to boarding school. She threatened to, like, um, to, 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 I don't know, to, to ship me off and I would never be seen again. And uh, just, I'm so glad that that woman is out of our lives. I think you're just going to have to be a little bit more careful about who you trust. Yeah, and the world's a safer place now that another, uh, I guess, scammer, stealer is off the streets. Definitely a scammer. 
thank you so much, Dad. I appreciate you helping me out and just believing me in the situation because that was crazy. I should have just listened to you sooner, but at least it's all good now. Yeah, let's go home. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you loved it, do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, and leave a comment down below. If you have an idea for a role play, go ahead and leave it down below too, because you never know. Maybe you'll see one of your stories come to life. If you want to check out more role plays, they're linked over to the side right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to hashtag stay peachy, stay kind, use code makeup plays all the time, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Goodbye!